Deputy President Puswada will start the press conference. I request Puswada to take it over from here. Thank you. Here in press conference, and I don't know a personal look to claim no catches or Napoca as or take to Rakanaya. And he had in Mizoram Tana Tilpoimo near here Tepo Aran Sidona. Then Nen Nas Tepo Namani threw in a appeal Tepo Asiam to Dona Tuna. I can't go halfway. ไม่ค่ะโลทะโลนี่ค่ะเฮ็ดตุกินซิงอ่ะตุปาเตรียมเพรสมีเตปูระฮุลกันดีอันเพรสคอนเฟอเรนซ์ดีฮินโลกะไ
believe that the institutional framework of the country, institutions of the country, belong to the people of India and not to one political organization. Uh, so, essentially, our vis vision is one of decentralization, one of giving power to the people, and their vision is one of centralizing power in Delhi and taking all decisions from the center. Um, so we, we will defend the idea of India by protecting the values of the idea of India, by protecting the constitution of India, by protecting the institutional framework of India, and by making sure that people, regardless of their religion, regardless of their history, regardless of their uh, cultural background, can express themselves and have freedom and comfort to live in this country. And that's the idea behind uh, the alliance called India. Also, it's important to realize that uh, we represent 60% of India. We, repre we represent more people in the India Alliance than the BJP does. So what is the Please, uh, just say your name and so I yeah. get a sense. Look, uh, as far as what our strategy is going to be, uh, I'm not going to be laying out our strategy in a press conference. That would not be very smart of me and that's not something that I'm interested in doing. Uh, but broadly I can tell you that the different states in the Northeast are being attacked by the BJP and the RSS. Um, your religious foundation, your languages, they are all attacked by the idea of the RSS. RSS believes that India should be ruled by one ideology and by one organization. And that is really what we are fighting against. We simply do not accept that and we do not believe that. We want the people of Mizoram to take decisions for their future. Uh, we want them to be comfortable. We want them to be comfortable in expressing themselves, in expressing their religious practices in expressing their social practices. And we do not believe that Mizoram should be ruled directly from Delhi. We believe in devolving power to the people of Mizoram and that's really the fight that is taking place. Uh, look, if you look at the two political parties, right, uh, the MN, MNF and the ZPM, it's very clear that these are both entry points for the BJP. MNF is directly allied with them and it's very clear that the ZPM is not fighting the BJP. It is in fact a platform for the RSS to enter uh, Mizoram. You know? um, and I think that is what essentially the Chief Minister of uh, Assam is doing for the BJP. He is acting as a in, is, is acting to help them with the cultural annihilation of the Northeast, right? With the destruction of the cultures of the Northeast. And our, we believe that the cultures of the Northeast, the languages, religion of the Northeast is central to the idea of India. Yesterday I said in my student interaction that what has happened in Manipur, right? Is an attack on the idea of Manipur, but also a direct attack on the idea of India in Manipur. And that is, the Manipur model is the RSS model. Uh, we're, not, we're not going to unfortunately allow multiple questions. Our, our resolution is very, very clear. What we are saying is that we are against violence of any kind. We, we do not appreciate any type of violence against innocent civilians.